Hey everybody, welcome back to the East Lake House of Speed YouTube channel. Um, this week's episode, episode two, we're going to be uh, going over some upcoming things coming up with the car. I didn't get a ton done on it this week. Again, we're waiting on parts. Um, spoke with Ron Pope at Ron Pope Motorsports. He's going to have my axle done in about a week and a half. I think we're going to pick that up now instead of having it shipped. He's uh, going to be on the way up to the Southeast Gasters Award Banquet at the end of the month. So we're going to swing in there, pick that up. Maybe I'll get some footage of his shop for the channel, see a little bit about that. <clears throat> um, we're getting ready to uh, get the mock-up motor put in, um, get some of that stuff going. I've got a tour of Lamar Walden Motorsports, or excuse me, Lamar Walden Automotive. Um, just a little uh, tour of the shop there, some of the capabilities. And I'm going to start with the first episode or installment of um, the 409 build that Rob's doing for his Sega A-Gas car this year. It's going to be an aluminum 409, and uh, we're going to show the process, or at least some of the process it takes to custom make the pistons that he has to do for these 409s. We'll describe the 409 motor a little bit. I'll show you what makes it kind of unique in terms of the combustion chamber and the head style and uh, go over a little bit of that and some footage coming uh, after that we'll come back i'll go over again show you some of the parts i've got in stock some of the things that are going to be coming up in the next week or so and then um some of that stuff we got planned in the future so we're out here at lamar walden automotive thought i'd take you on side show you a little bit of a shop tour and what's going on here every once in a while on the channel we're going to walk through and do a little update here's the uh big fifth axis machine used for all the CNC head porting. Uh, they got some pretty good programs on the LS stuff and a lot of the 690, 409 stuff. And you got a big block Chevrolet head over there going. Come through here, the parts department here. Out here into the main office space. <clears throat> got some pretty cool stuff up on the walls here. History of Lamar and Rob racing. This is a pretty cool setup. This is a methanol three dominator setup. That's actually a mechanical fuel injection. The, the carburetors are actual throttle bodies for the mechanical fuel injection unit running a 409. Some pieces from the Engine Masters Challenge 409 that Rob and Lamar built. A little coverage of the car craft on the Willis. Here's a real cool picture of the original Willis back in the day. With Lamar on the left hand side. And just some of the other cars that run Lamar Walled Automotive Power. Did the office, same thing. <clears throat> Pretty cool original poster from a match race in 67. Paradise Dragway. Got Rob working on pistons over on the small CNC. The rest of the shop, all in-house stuff. Boring, honing, line honing. All head work's done in-house. It's the 30 for valve jobs, manual mill. Got a few customer cars up on the rack. Do a lot of late model stuff. They also do a lot of classics. Tons and tons of 409 stuff. We got a Sega motor over there getting looked at. <clears throat> Come back in here into the engine department. Got a polished all aluminum 409 block here going in a real special car. We'll talk about that later possibly. Here we are in the engine room. Got a little, little FE project right here for a fellow. Uh, take this opportunity to explain that my previous video i referred to the southern comfort car as a mercury and it is in fact a ford falcon that was my bad here we are got a few projects going some top secret stuff i can't really talk about but we'll cover what we can we'll go out here into the chassis dyno area here we have the chassis dyno a couple more customer cars and let me uh Cut over here in a second, get some lights turned on. We'll show you the engine dyno room. This is the dyno cell. Going here to the control panel. We'll get some footage of some dyno stuff going here before long. There's a lot of projects underway here, so 
just a few weeks we'll be doing a lot of dyno pulls so i'll try to cover what i can again we have to kind of respect the customers and uh, i'll cover as much of it as i can that, uh, that everyone's comfortable with Not hitting the rock arms, I think they just over tight. How we got it? Where we at? We're going down. We're going down. I'm going to go here in this corner and take some more. Well, I'm still not done. Right. Still not done with it, but. So here's a little footage of what we just showed in there on the mill of uh, taking these Lamar Walton Automotive custom pistons. Um, they start off with just a solid blank right here, weighs uh, over a thousand grams actually. And then with his uh, with the CNC machine and the profiles they've built, they'll come in here and they'll create the valve pockets, and they come in here and lighten these things down and get them in the neighborhood of about 780 grams 790 grams somewhere in that area which is still pretty heavy but that's just one of the downfalls of the 409 is due to the piston design for the lack of combustion chamber you end up with a fairly heavy piston weight here's a little footage i wanted to show y'all of uh why that piston is shaped so weird if you notice the 409 does not have a combustion chamber built into the head. The combustion chamber is actually made down into the cylinder. This is one of the Lamar Walton Automotive 690 style heads. They have the full CNC port job on them, all done on the fifth axis y'all saw earlier. Here's a little look at some of the parts I've got together now. Uh, I'm going to be working on next week. Got the correct rear wheels. Got to get those drilled and uh, tapped for the wheel screws and get those mounted up. I got the slicks and the tubes. There's the new um, aluminum dash. Dash ends. And that box there is a floater kit for the rear end. <clears throat> got the coil. You see down here, that's the new low back curtain seat. Period correct looking seat. There's a little Honda radiator we're gonna be running up front that'll get painted black. Look the part. Not a lot of radiator needed for a methanol motor. Here's our mock-up motor. Got the injection, set of valve covers on it. Motor plates, getting ready to do some measuring, trim those motor plates, get ready to set this thing in. Gotta get the uh get the proper angle on it, going towards the rear end. <clears throat> 
because <clears throat> then the car is going to be going up to uh, Stott Speed Shop here um, in the next few weeks. And uh, Quayne and everybody at Stott Speed Shop is going to be putting the 9 inch with the floater and the ladder bars in. Uh, I was going to do it myself, but uh, Quayne said he had a spot and he could do it. And uh, probably saved me a lot of a lot of time at the track getting it straightened out to have him do it right the first time. You can see here where that previous footage for the roll cage changes I've made, taking out part of that funny car cage. Still got a little grinding to do up there. And that seat's got to go. So we're going to have to redo some of the motor plates here. This is currently set up. Have to make a few changes for the new motor that'll do it for this episode um appreciate you tuning in if there's any questions you have go ahead and put them in the comments down there subscribe hit the little uh bell icon you can get notifications when these episodes come out i'm going to try to put an episode out about once a week when i have the uh footage to do so so uh appreciate you tuning in and see you next time